A lot of people find journaling to be a helpful way to maybe to articulate the thoughts that they're having. Me, I'm not really much of a journaler, but I do like to use the audio recorder on my phone at times to do basically the same kind of thing. I may have a thought come to mind and think, hey, you know what, I want to save this, this train of thought. And so then I'll pop open my recorder and record some thoughts on a particular topic. I'll often do this when I am thinking through different ideas for social media content or podcast episodes, but I also will use it as a way of talking through with myself uh, different issues that maybe a client may be struggling with, maybe something that I noticed on another post where a, another person commented and I'm thinking, how would I handle that situation if I had a client approach me with that exact same question? And so I find that recording these audio thoughts can be a really helpful thing for me. Also, having these sorts of conversations with myself where I'm forced to articulate certain thoughts that I'm having or to talk through different things, and then often I'll go back and listen back to them and see, hey, was I making any sense? Uh, was that actually good advice? Uh, because sometimes in the moment, it's very easy to think, hey, this is great advice, but then later on to go back and after having some time to reflect on it, we think, hmm, maybe that isn't uh, the best advice or the best way to handle that situation. Now, anyway, this is an example of one of those things I thought I would share with you. Uh, this was something that I recorded back, I guess, in February, and I was just going through my audio notes today. And so I thought I would share this as an example of, of how this kind of works out for me personally. So one of the interesting things with health is that we often focus so much on the physical facet of health to the detriment of the other. And so there's this feeling that if we are optimizing our our health, our the physical facet of health. We're optimizing our physical activity and our nutrition in such a way as to maximize the, the health of our physical body, right? What's interesting is that that can work for a while. So you may look at a 25-year-old, let's say, who is doing that, who's going to some extremes to, to, to optimize these things in their lives. But if they're not nurturing those other facets of health, if they're focused solely on the physical, what can happen is that over time, the, there may be changes that occur to their emotional, psychological, social, economic, all of those other facets of health that right now may not be a problem because you know, the circumstances surrounding where they are currently right now. But down the road, those things may change in such a way that they start negatively impacting each other. So your psychological health might 